Check, 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 check. Alright, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hollywood Elite Wrestling. My name is Grant Pachoco, and I'm in the dark, apparently. For, oh no, my camera's frozen. My camera is frozen. Let's see if this fixes things. camera's broken. All right, listen, you don't, you, as long as you can hear me, you don't need to see me. You don't, you don't need to see me. Uh, it's all right. It's quite all right. In fact, I, my guarantee to you is it's going to be a better show uh, because you cannot see me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you here. I'm very excited to have you here. Uh, we are going to get going. And uh, before we do, we want to send a special shout out to all of our uh, wonderful uh, Patreon patrons who help make the videos on this channel possible. Big shout out to all of our patrons and a little special shout out to our patron producers, Eve Cunning, Kathy Crawford, Andrew Calcagno, Tony Urbano, Brandy, David Akers, Paul, Scott Armstrong, and Vicki Sebring. If you would like to uh, be a patron, you can head on over to Patreon. Uh, dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. Well, we've got a uh, great show for you here today. Uh, just ignore my um, <laughs> my uh, frozen camera for some reason. I restarted the computer right before we went live, so uh, apparently that's what's happening here. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome. It is a, it is a pleasure to have you all here tonight. Uh, just kind of threw together some matches here tonight. Um, as you know, if you are a longtime watcher of the show and, uh, you know that I like to pair wrestlers who have the same, uh, win loss call, you know, win loss ratings against each other. And, uh, that's, not what's happening in this first match, but what is happening in this first match is both of these gentlemen, uh, both Eric the Red and Henry Erslinger, uh, have no wins. Neither gentleman has a win, so I decided to put them against each other uh, to uh, see who will get their first win here in Hollywood Elite Wrestling. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. And uh, let me turn up the volume of the bell a little bit. It looks like Henry Erslinger is going to start things off. Always like saying his name, Erslinger. Uh, go behind and trip to. It's an agility move. I'm going to assume he has the agility. He does. And Eric the Red is hurt. And uh, into the turnbuckle goes Eric the Red. Crushed by a big kick. Erslinger rolls on level two offense. Throws him into the turnbuckle again. Another big kick. And Erslinger roll, uh, locks in a toe hold on Eric the Red. Only hurting him. And keeps that toe hold locked in. Still just only a hurt. And there is a standing headlock too. But it is a power move. And Eric the Red has the power. So he's going to reverse. But he tries an elbow smash. And Erzlinger ducks out of the way. He's going to roll choice C. Uh, and he is going to go for the agility move that'll work on a nine or less. The roll, a three, certainly does work there. And uh, only a hurt, too. Erzlinger's throwing everything he can here. Goes back to the toe hold. Uh, down three, Eric the Red is going to roll out of the ring. Uh, and a big fight, and Eric the Red smashes Erzlinger into the announce table. And he may be disqualified here. No, he's not disqualified. He throws Erzlinger back in back in and then hits a big running splash for a hurt too and there is a choice a so his ropes is an a 
His power rating is a plus three. He's going to play it safe. Go for that. Needs an 11 or less. Gets a five. Uh, only a hurt two there. Eric the Red. Uh, into the turnbuckle goes Erzlinger for the change. Crushed by a big kick there. And tries an elbow smash, but Erzlinger reverses it. Front face lock. Choice C. Going to go for the agility move. Work on a nine or less. Roll is a four. Uh, hurt two. Erzlinger uh, tosses Eric the Red into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick opponent rolls on level two offense front face lock choice c again gonna go for the agility nine or less seven it works eric the red <clears throat> hurt too man he just cannot get eric the red down standing headlock tries a power move it's not gonna work eric the red tosses Erzlinger into the turnbuckle and he catches uh, Erzlinger catches Eric the Red with a skull splitting lariat and he's going to roll on level 3 defense he is down Erzlinger locks in a neck yoke and he is still down uh, uh hmm. is he going to throw him out of the ring Sure, why not? These two are brawling the hell out of each other. Uh, crawls helplessly back in. Erzlinger rolls on level three, locks back in that neck yoke. And there we go, going for the pin. Target four, roll eight. One fatigue for Eric the Red. And Erzlinger following it up. Uh, uh, he will throw him back out of the ring. And, oh, he hits him with a... Uh, we're going to say Erzlinger grabs Eric the Red's bone down of his hand and smashes him with it uh, behind the ref's back. The fan's not happy. Uh, but now Eric the Red going to roll his count out. Target five, roll nine. Erzlinger now back in control. There's the flying headlock. Can he get it in? The target six, the roll of four. And uh, via submission... Henry Erslinger gets the win with the flying headlock. Uh, I assume the flying headlock is a uh, submission move. I guess I, I could be mistaken about that, but um, maybe it's like a... I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read the handbook. Uh, okay, so here we go. Enter fall information. I know if uh, Mike, uh, Michael Brad is in the ring, he can probably help me. Um, in, in the ring. Michael, are you in the ring? Uh, flying headlock. Okay, so Henry Erslinger wins via flying headlock. Uh, and uh, J. Irish says, what a boneheaded way to lose. Uh, let's see. Uh, he is at... And I did notice that it ends in doubles. I did see that. So uh, he is at three fatigue. Erslinger's at zero. So that will be one and a half. And uh, I'm going to say it's a submission. I could be wrong about that, but that's fine. Uh, let's roll on the feud chart and see what wins. Because Eric the Red's not going to be happy about uh, losing uh, or getting smashed with the bone there. So let's see. Um, feud table. One wrestler of your choice comes charging into the ring to help the aggressor. First, he attacks the victim's ringside. Okay, there is none. Uh, so roll victim injury. So Erzlinger goes into uh, attack. He's going to roll one die here. Uh, ooh, injured for four cards. Eric the Red uh, injured four cards after... Uh, uh, during, after... match attack all right there we go all right that is the end of our first match now coming up our next match this is another uh the neither of these guys has a victory so uh decided to put them um uh, and in fact i think these two have the same record uh it's similar to ed lewis's headlock you are correct submission Yes! If you could see my face in the little camera, you would see that I'm smiling uh, big. <laughs> Taking a drink of water there. All right, here we go. Tony Gurria. You know what? Since we don't... Ooh, since I was going to say, since we don't have my big, ugly face uh, in the screen, uh, I'm not going to do that because that always winds up being... Um, ba 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 move this out of the way here we go 
I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Tony Garea versus Tugboat Taylor. Rolling the dice for initiative. Ringing the bell. And Tony Garea is going to get it. Arm ringer and leg drop against Tugboat Taylor. Hurt too. Tony Garea follows it up with some quick punches to Tugboat Taylor. Hurt too. Tony Garea with a double. Uh, uh, let's see what his, his. In singles matches, this is a two move. All right, so it's just a level two move. On Tugboat Taylor, he is hurt. Tony Garea following it up with, uh, that's just a level two move. Tugboat Taylor is down. Tony Garea with the abdominal stretch. This could be over. Target five, roll seven. One fatigue for Tugboat Taylor. Jackknife cradle on Tugboat Taylor. Hurt two. Tony Garea continues. Uh, that's a level two move. And hurt two. Tony Garea... Uh, Thez Press on Tugboat Taylor. Down, Tugboat Taylor is going to leave the ring. Rolls out of the ring, crawls helplessly back in. Tony Garea follows it up by locking back in the abdominal stretch. Six is the target, and six is the roll. And Tony Garea with a quick victory over Tugboat Taylor. And da, 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 let's see, I think he only had two fatigue and he didn't have any. So we're going to say that's a one star match. And uh, but uh, two matches ending in submissions. Um, oh, that's a great idea. Nord the Barbarian and Eric the Red. That is a that is a that is a great tag team, Pete. I enjoy that. Thumbs up. All right. Here comes our tag team match. You'll notice there's no uh, women on the card here tonight, but that is just because uh, they wrestled a lot last week. So uh, we're we're giving them the night off because it was all women last week. So here we go. All right. We've got the Bolsheviks versus the Long Riders, and these are another two teams who have the same uh, ranking or the same win-loss records. Let me see really quick since uh, that other match was so short let me see if i can see what their score is their score their standings are uh we'll we'll, we'll let that load there for a second uh we got a big main event here tonight ladies and gentlemen we've got uh boogie woogie man jimmy valiant versus abdullah the butcher after their uh crazy uh out of control brawl that happened uh, a couple cards ago um so is this just not gonna load there we go all right so let's see uh the long oh this did this crazy thing where it messed up the dates yeah i want you to go i want their whole record and now it's going to take forever to load again all right we'll look at that then all right, so here we go. Uh, the Long Riders versus uh, the Bolsheviks. We're going to say Volkov is going to start with Scott Irwin. We're going to roll the dice. We're going to ring the bell. And... Uh, oh, no. What is happening? Okay. I don't, I don't think I can take... I don't think I can take if this is not going to work. And I, 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 I literally have no windows open except for the windows that you're seeing right now. All right. Is this going to work? Yes. Okay. So that roll does not count. We're going to start again. Here we go. Once more time. Roll the dice. Ring the bell. And it looks like uh, Nikolai Volkov will start off on the offensive with a headlock and a punch. Uh, dazed one. He's going to try. Scott's going to try and make a quick tag. He is able to do it. Here comes Bill Irwin. Uh, knee to the midsection two. Choice C. Uh, he is going to go for the agility move that'll work on a nine or less. The roll, a 10, doesn't work. Volkov just swats him down out of the air. Tries to tackle him in the corner, uh, but Irwin moves out of the way and Volkov crashes into the corner. He, uh, while he's there, he smashes Volkov's head into the turnbuckle, but Volkov blocks it, reverses it, and Volkov uh, is going to roll choice F. 
And what is his power? Is a zero. Gonna try and go for that. This will work on a seven or less. Roll is a three. It does work. Bill Irwin in trouble. Hurt two. Nikolai Volkov continues with another choice F. And he's gonna try for another power rating this will work on a seven or less three it does volkov just overpowering hurts two nikolai volkov with a big knee to the gut on bill irwin and bill irwin ducks out of the way reverses it throat drop on the ropes on nikolai volkov hurts two and uh, bill irwin rolling on oh sorry uh ignore that ignore that re-rolling uh into the turnbuckle and not gonna oh not gonna throw him into the turnbuckle gonna roll up instead waist lock takedown will this have any effect on the big russian well he's gonna try and tag out to boris zukov seven not able to do it and uh, bill Irwin continues with a choice c and he again is gonna go for uh the agility that'll work on a nine or less the roll is a 10 it doesn't work again uh, Volkov uh, follows that up with a big Russian bear hug to Bill Irwin. Hurt two. Volkov's going to tag in a Zukov, who's going to come in on level two. He's going to toss Bill Irwin into the turnbuckle. Uh, the wrestler with the better turnbuckle rating, they are equal. So Zukov's going to roll on level three offense, and he rolls a choice H. His death jump is a B. His agility is a plus one. Going to go for that. This will work on a nine or less. The roll is a three. It works. They've really separated Bill Irwin. Hurt too. They can't quite keep him down, but they uh, they separated him. Irwin with some wild forearms. Hurt too. Zukov uh, with a hammer to the back. Uh, Irwin's trying to make the tag. Can he do it? No, he cannot. Bor Zukov uh, with some more wild forearms on uh, Bill Irwin. Bill Irwin reverses it. And he hits a thumb to the throat to Boris Zukov. Uh, that is a hurt. Zukov's going to try and make the tag. Not able to do it. He's going to tag in Scott Irwin. Scott Irwin comes in on level two into the ropes. Goes Boris Zukov. Uh, opponent rolls on level three offense. There's a big headbutt. And uh, that is a hurt too. Scott Irwin with uh, into the ropes with Boris Zukov. Whips him in. Uh, duck down, roll again on this chart. Come up the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Roll on level two offense. Boris Zukov back in control. Ooh, double team in the corner. Three, so Volkov back in after that tag team move. And Irwin is down. Can Volkov uh, follow up here? Will he get some shoulder tackles? Irwin's going to try and tag out. He is able to do it. Here comes Bill Irwin again. Bill Irwin comes in, uh, throws Volkov into the ropes, and puts him down with a running back elbow. Uh, there is a head to the turnbuckle. These two teams just pounding away on each other. Volkov reverses it. Big headbutt on Bill Irwin. Hurts too. Nikolai Volkov continues. Knee to the gut too on Bill Irwin. Bill Irwin, again, he, he's able to get away from that knee to the gut. Another thumb to the throat to Nikolai Volkov. And Bill Irwin follows that up with a gut wrench on the big Russian bear. And that's going to catch his pin. Boris Zukov going to try and make a pin save here. And uh, he does. He's able to break uh, the pin. But Volkov gets one fatigue. And there is a float kick. And again, Zukov going to try and make the save. But he is stopped by Scott Irwin. So the target here is going to be five. The roll is a six. Volkov just barely able to kick out. Scott Irwin follows it up with another float kick. No pin saves left. The target six. The roll 11. Big kick out by Volkov. Uh, but Irwin rolls the slingshot suplex. Roll one die on even rolls. Irwin instead does attack with the bull whip. All right, so we're going to roll one die here. Nope, it's uh, it's just going to be the slingshot suplex. That's what it's going to be. Volkov rolls on level three. Hurt two. Uh, what are Scott... Scott Irwin's going to get tagged in on level two. What can he do? Some stops to the big Russian hurt. He's going to try. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't roll on level two on Volkov. Hurts two. Scott Irwin continuing. A big super pla uh, suplex. 
And only a hurt, too. They have now cut the ring off. Into the ropes goes Nikolai Volkov. Uh, the opponent drops down. You roll again on this chart. Uh, the opponent gets him in position for a back body drop. Volkov grabs him, hits him with a pile driver. He's going to roll on level three offense. There's a throat drop on the ropes on Scott Irwin. Hurt, too. Volkov going to tag out to Zukov, who comes in and punches Scott Irwin in the jaw. And Scott Irwin just takes that punch and comes right back with a snap mare on Zukov. Uh, he is dazed. He's not going to tag out because uh, there's so much fatigue over here on Nikolai Volkov. Another snap mare. Uh, dazed one again. And there is a headlock takedown. Uh, and dazed one again. Man, Scott Irwin cannot get some uh, action going here. There's a palm strike. Hurt two. Scott Irwin, choice B. Uh, his turnbuckle is a B, going to go for that. Zukov into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Into the ropes goes Zukov and drops down. Roll again on this chart. Uh, you come to the ropes with powerful flying shoulder tackle. Roll on level two offense. Here comes Zukov. Hits a Soviet slam on Scott Irwin. Hurt two. Boris Zukov coming back with another punch to the jaw on Scott Irwin. Dazed one. Uh, man, you got to give it to the Bolsheviks. They're coming back here. Into the ropes. Scott Irwin gets whipped into the ropes, drops down. You roll again on this chart. Uh, the opponent uses one of his specialty moves and goes in for the kill. Zukov, uh, a big clothesline level. Scott Irwin, he is down. And Zukov follows that up with a choice H. And he is going to go for the agility move. This will work on a 10 or less. Uh, and it is a six. It does work. Scott Irwin down again. Zukov needs to hit a finish here. Multiple headbutts on Scott Irwin. Hurt too. No, he just can't keep him down. And there is a double team in the corner. Volkov back in. Irwin rolls on level uh, three. Hurt too. Uh, there's a big Russian bear hug. Locks it in. He is down. Volkov's going to stay in the ring. Uh, death jump. Volkov climbing up to the top. Big clothesline from the top. And Volkov's going to roll on level three offense. There's the back breaker drop they're going to use their first pin save uh let's see what happens your tag partner comes in the ring but so does the apartment's tag partner a wild brawl erupts add one to your pin rating uh the referee may disqualify both teams roll four for a double disqualification six no dq uh if there's no dq uh roll one die three so this is the russians are, are, are going to get the advantage here. And Volkov will do a throat drop on the ropes. Three, down three. He's going to tag Zukov back in on level three. Uh, out of the ring. He's going to toss Irwin out of the ring. Uh, this is getting wild out here. Uh, Irwin throws him into the announce table. Irwin may be disqualified here. The roll is five. Uh, the target is five. The roll is a ten. He is not. Irwin back in control. And he hits a superplex. They have no more uh, tags, uh, pin saves left. The target five. The roll a two. And from behind... Uh, Scott Irwin takes out Boris Zukov with a suplex. Uh, a superplex. Sorry. Forgive me. Uh, Scott Irwin. What a fantastic uh, back and forth match. Superplex pin. Now let's see. Uh, he was at one. Volkov was at three. That's four. Um, five. And then how much was Bill Irwin at? Oh, he was just, he was at zero. So that will be two and a half. Uh, ba, 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 two and a half. PDM says I need a good babyface tag team. Uh, what about the U.S. Express? Do you have those cards? I mean, unless you're using Barry Windham elsewhere. Uh, what was the other? There was some other babyface tag team, but you could also use Mike Rotundo and Danny Spivey 
as the American exp was what were they his name? Uh They weren't the American Express, were they? Anyway, the USA Express. Uh, I did see that they ended on um, doubles here, but you know what? I'm not in a real big rush to see another match between those two teams. Uh, all right, it is time for our main event, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Falls Count Anywhere match between uh, Abdullah the Butcher and Jimmy Valiant. Uh, let's see. I got my Falls Count Anywhere chart. Oh, you can't see. I held it up, even though you can't see it. Um, so, uh, you, in this match, you can pin the opponent in the ring or elsewhere in the arena. Uh, no DQs, no countouts. When the wrestler is thrown out of the ring or leaves the ring, roll on the chart below. So, that is what we are going to do. Boogie Woogie Man. Jimmy Valiant versus Abdullah the Butcher. This is your main event. Roll on the dice. <laughs> ringing the bell and there we go Abdullah the Butcher uh, kick to midsection one to start things off dazed one Abdullah the Butcher uh, clothesline two this is an agility move so Boogie Woogie Man has the agility with a thumb to the throat and Abdullah the Butcher reverses it on level two he stands on Jimmy Valiant uh, down three Abdullah the Butcher following that up with an eye gouge and fish hook Two, down three, and Abdullah the Butcher with a torture rack slam, choice H. Uh, his agility is a plus one. He's going to go for it. Needs a nine or less to make it happen. Five, it does. Jimmy Valiant in trouble. Down three, Valiant is going to leave the ring. And so we're going to roll two dice on the chart. The roll is an eight. Bedlam, you beat your opponent all over the arena. Roll again on this chart. Jimmy Valiant, uh, seven. Uh, Abdullah the Butcher slams Jimmy Valiant into the announcer's table. That poor announcer's table's got a lot of, uh, tragedy here tonight. You throw the opponent back in the ring and roll on level three offense. Butcher throws him back into the ring. Uh, karate th thrust to the throat. Add one. And Jimmy Valiant in trouble. Hurt two. Abdullah the Butcher for an object. All legal here. Now a two fatigue. Jimmy Valiant down three again he's going to leave the ring so we'll roll on the chart uh the roll is an eight so that's bedlam we roll again on the chart four bedlam uh butcher whips his opponent into the locker room floor no wait 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 sorry whips the opponent into a wall opponent rolls pin so here we go jimmy valiant rolling his pin the target five the roll eight another fatigue and butcher will roll again on the chart uh six you ram the opponent head first into the steel ring post you throw the opponent back into the ring and roll on level three offense uh, so Butcher rolling on level three offense, and he throws him right back out of the ring. So we're going to roll here. Uh, nine. The opponent makes a big comeback. Jimmy Valiant scoop slams Abdullah the Butcher into the souvenir stand and throws him back into the ring and will roll on level three offense. Jimmy Valiant coming back. There's a neck breaker on uh, Abdullah the Butcher. Hurt too. Jimmy Valiant uh, coming. This is amazing. Um, Moonsaw, he's going to go for the agility move. Uh, this will work on a 10 or less, and it does. Abdullah the Butcher in trouble. Down three. Now Abdullah the Butcher is going to leave the ring, and the roll is a nine. And Butcher makes a big comeback, and he scoop slams Jimmy Valiant onto the souvenir stand just for good measure, throws him back into the ring, rolls on level three offense, and then throws him right back out of the ring again. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, three, Bedlam. Uh, Butcher body slams a uh, valiant on the locker room floor and he is going to roll his pin the target six the roll nine abdullah the butcher uh if no pin roll again on this chart okay so here we go uh seven uh you slam the opponent on the announcer's table at ringside you throw the opponent into the back end of the ring butcher throws him back into the ring and then immediately throws him right back out of the ring again and the roll is a four bedlam uh he whips him into another wall opponent rolls pin how much more can jimmy valiant take the target seven the roll nine apparently he can take more uh so we're gonna roll again on this chart for another whip into the wall and another pin attempt here we go jimmy valiant the target 
is, uh, did that happen? Oh, the target is eight. The roll is nine. Boogie Woogie Man is out of control. Six, six, six fatigue. He has six fatigue. We're rolling again on the Falls Count Anywhere chart. The roll is an eight. Bedlam, you beat your opponent all over the arena. Roll again on this chart. Six, uh, you ram the opponent into the steel ring post. Throw him back into the ring. A butcher throws him back into the ring. And then, of course, throws him right back out of the ring again. Uh, the roll is a five. It's up to you, promoter. You hit a deadly move outside uh, the ring on the opponent. Uh, we're going to say uh, Abdul the Butcher pulls out his fork and starts stabbing him. Uh, add one to the opponent's pin rating and roll again on this chart. Uh, six. Uh, rams his head into the steel ring post, throws him back into the ring. Abdullah the Butcher, uh, there it is, the Sudanese meat cleaver. Now, come on, this has to be it. Plus two, the target is 12, the roll is eight, and oh my gosh, what? Uh, it was a quick but bloody, bloody battle here tonight uh, as... Um, Abdullah the Butcher gets the win over Jimmy Valiant. Holy smokes. Wow. What a match. So let's see. He's got... Uh, Butcher has zero fatigue and uh, he has eight fatigue. So, you know, I'm going to say it's a four and a half star match. I've... Recently, I've become kind of stingy with my five-star matches. I think that was a fantastic match. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I've just become a little stingy with my five-star matches. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, now, here's the thing. I am moving. Um, I wish my little camera was working because then you could see me. Um, you can see my shadow. Uh, I wonder if this will work. Sorry, I'm just trying something. Oh. Yeah, it's not working. Um... Uh, okay. <laughs> Listen, it was a, we're trying, we're trying here. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, next week. Now here's the thing. I am, um, I'm moving. Um, thank you, friends. Thank you. Uh, Bucky says, have a safe move. Uh, I, I am moving. And, um, so there may be a show next week. There may not. Next week is the, sh the week I'm kind of unsure about. Um, but if there is a show, there is, but our next card, and I'll be sure to advertise it is our big, uh, super card where all the titles will be defended. Uh, Joni Lauer will get Joni Lauer will get her shot at Mildred Burke. Uh, Buddy Rogers will get his second crack at Rick Rude, and the Powers of Pain, who have beaten absolutely everybody. Uh, I gotta find out who they just beat the Road Warriors twice. I gotta find out who they're gonna be taking on. Um, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all for being here tonight uh let me run through the chat here bucky 749 jared b frank wainscott miho burns uh mighty mo jason pdsi uh pete m da, 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 da. trying not to miss anybody here trying to get everybody if i do miss you mr baseman was here it is not personal at all jason pdsi I wish they would. Michael Brada, of course. Thank you for your help. J Irish 780. And um, I think I saw John Bennett and Kathy Evans was here. And there's there's always a couple of people who chat. Jarandis, they chat right at the beginning and then uh, not uh, uh, at the at the end. And Joe Brooks, if I missed you, I apologize. Um, so um, thank you all. Thank you all for being here. Uh, we'll get the camera fixed. I, it's just a little glitch that this program has. And uh, it is no big deal. All right, friends. Thank you so much for being here. We will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.